हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिसेस राजकुमारी चौहान आई टीच इन अंजुमन इस्लाम ए खटखटे इंग्लिश सेकेंडरी स्कूल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ए टॉपिक ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस चैप्टर थ्री पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पार्ट टू सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक इन पार्ट वन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट Why do we need political parties? The main characteristics of political parties, the role of opposition parties in India, the link between people and political parties, and also some of the important political parties we find in India. Now, in this part two, we are going to learn about regional parties. Regional parties are those groups in the region who have a proud feeling about the different identity of the region and who competed to get political power with the objective of regional development. Uh, regional parties usually influence to a limited or a particular region. Though they play a significant role at the regional level, they influence national politics as well. Regional parties give preference to the resolution of the regional problems. For the development of the region, they demand more autonomy and authority. Though they cooperate with federal government, they try to protect their autonomy. Regional parties make several demands such as regional problem should be resolved at a regional level political power should be in the hands of the people from region and residents of the region should get preference in administration and jobs Now let us see changing nature of regional parties in India Regional parties came into existence in India in the post independent period however over the years their nature and role was has changed significantly let's see here now what are the changes we have seen initially regional identities gave rise to separatist movement like example the demands for independent khalistan then dravid stan were made with the objective of parting from indian federation and exist as an independent state uh, obviously they demanded as if they are different state regional parties like example the states where punjab tamil nadu and jammu and kashmir have made such demands now next one is the demands of regional parties gradually changed instead of an independent state they started demanding more autonomy so this was the second stage in the development of regional parties this stage began after 1990 the regional parties demanded that for the development of the region people from region should get power at state and national level for example shiv sena telugu desam etc the development of regional parties in north east shows a different trend they gave up their demand of separatism and have started demanding autonomy the regional parties from north east are now entering in mainstream of national politics now let's see some of the important regional parties which we find in india Shiv Sena this is one of the main political party we find in Maharashtra which was established in 1966 the main objective was to protect the rights of marathi people promotion of marathi language resistance to people from other regions in 1995 it entered into a coalition with bjp and came to power in maharashtra it shares power with the bjp in maharashtra since 
Now the next party which we see is Shiromani Akali Dal. It was established in 1920, a prominent regional party in Punjab. The main objective of this party is to cultivating religious and regional identity, assumes power in Punjab for many years. <clears throat> the next one is if we see this is Jammu and Kashmir National Conference main regional party in Kashmir established in 1932 it protect the interest of Kashmiri people and protection of autonomous status let's see the next one it's Assam Gun Parishad Assam agreement was signed in 1985. It was to resolve the problems of displaced people, protect the unique cultural, linguistic and social identity of Assam, economic development of Assam. It assumes power in Assam for many years. Now here you can see the next party is Dravida Monitra Kaza. Kazagam, that is Justice Party, a non-Brahman movement in 1920 was transformed into Dravida Monitra Kazagam, a political party. In 1944, Justice Party came to be known as Dravida Kazagam. In 1944, a group separated from this party and established another party, that is Dravida Monitor Kazagam. Another group separated from this party in 1972 and established All India Dravida Monitor Kazagam. Protection of Tamil identity, member of coalition government at the center for some years. Uh, the party has support uh, of voters from all sections of society. It was in power for a long period and implemented many policies. So these are some of the important parties which we have seen. So here we have seen some of the regional parties and the work of the regional parties. So in short, we can say that the role of regional parties in India has passed through various phases. That is from separatism to autonomy and now towards entry into mainstream of national politics, coalition politics in one of the consequence of their increasing influence on political policy. In India, we have many regional parties and it is not possible to know about all such parties in this chapter. But we have learned some of the important, uh, you can say, regional parties which are seen today. So this is what we have seen in the chapter about the regional parties, the changes we have found and how it was established. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you.